Bellator 272's main event was absolutely insane. Kyoji Horiguchi took on Sergio Pettis for the belt. Bantamweight division, Horiguchi, Japanese champion from Ryzen, former Bellator champ, UFC title challenger. He fought Mighty Mouse years back. Was on a roll. I mean, besides that uh, big knockout loss to Kaya Skura, which he avenged, dominating everybody he faces, beat Darian Caldwell twice and became the Bellator champ before vacating it due to injury, comes back, fights against Sergio Pettis, who came into Bellator and honestly has blown the roof off the place. He's doing fantastic. Three fights in a row, getting victories, uh, getting, I mean, the win against Juan Archuleta, super impressive that he's able to beat a, a difficult wrestler with decent boxing. Pettis outpoints him and dominates. This fight, though, round one starts, and it looks like we're looking at a bit of the Horiguchi show. Pettis can't catch him. He can't read the patterns. Horiguchi is just a really unique fighter, and he's hard to read. Pettis trying to land strikes, not a ton there. And then some top moments for Horiguchi with takedowns. He gets a bit of control of Pettis. Second round, you start seeing a bit more of the same from an up kick. A cut did open up under the eye of Horiguchi. Not a ton of damage for Pettis, though. First, second, third. He's getting controlled. Horiguchi's landing decent strikes. Lots of takedowns. Jab into the takedowns by Horiguchi. Consistently landing. And then we get into the fourth round and something changed. Because Sergio came out in the fourth round with a higher level of confidence. He let the hands fly. Horiguchi shoots. He fends off the takedown. Now they separate. Pettis having some moments. Horiguchi still pressing. And then the craziest of exchanges, they're throwing shots. I don't know. You just kind of feel like Pettis is having a good round. And it's slightly feeling a momentum shift. Misses with a ducking head kick from the clinch position to follow back with the spinning back fist that destroys and sends the jaw of Horiguchi across the cage. Down he goes, completely out. Like It looked like the man was lifeless. He looked like a dead man out there when he fought against Pettis and that spinning back fist landed. That was one of the craziest knockouts, period. Pettis gets the win. Huge knockout. He's losing three and a half rounds up until the fourth round towards the, the middle end. Boom, done, spinning back fist. For Pettis now, he wins the belt, but... There are some potential things that future challengers will take away. You pressure Pettis, you make it tricky in the stand-up, bring in the wrestling, he'll struggle. Stylistic match nightmare. Hafeon Stotts, who is his teammate. Patchy Mix is a difficult wrestler. Magomed Magomedov, difficult wrestler. A Horiguchi rematch wouldn't be an easy fight. I'm intrigued by this Grand Prix tournament that they announced. I think it's a great move for Bellator. Pettis the champion... We'll see. I think they're going to probably do like the pick show similar to how we saw with that featherweight tournament. The champ gets first pick. I'll assume he'll pick maybe a high likelihood winnable matchup. Leandro Higo maybe is the matchup there. And then Horiguchi. I mean, whoever has to fight Horiguchi will be in for a hellish fight. The spinning back fist was just the money punch. It was like a once in a lifetime punch. You look at Anthony Pettis, showtime kick. You have the Sergio Pettis spinning back first from hell that sends Horiguchi out. Devastating knockout. It was an honestly one-sided bout. and It was looking like it's going the way of Horiguchi. I didn't think that there was going to be a turn of the tide. It would be shocking. And it was shocking when it happened. I'm still surprised by it. But it shows never give up or give in. Because you're always just one strike away. Especially if you're explosive like Pettis is. Fantastic win. Epic knockout. Defends the belt. Tournament coming up. Horiguchi rematch I'm interested in. I don't know. Do they give Horiguchi stats? That would be a hellish fight. And that's a fight Horiguchi. I don't know if he wins. Maybe they give him patchy mix. Tricky wrestler. James Gallagher Horiguchi. So many options with this Bellator bantamweight division. It's honestly a stacked weight class. Could you imagine putting together Bellator's bantamweight and UFC bantamweight division? Like, there would be madness because both of those weight classes are stacked. There's so much talent in 145, 35, 25. These smaller guys, absolute freaks. Obviously, lightweight as well. But, I mean, in Bellator, 45, 35, absolutely stacked. And, I mean, I guess light heavyweight too, we have to be honest. Overall, Great performance for Sergio Pettis. I was super impressed by it. I can't wait for this tournament. Guys, smash the like button if you're tuning in. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Turn the post notifications on. Much love to everybody watching.
Thank you all so much, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace, guys.